Alright, welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry the Chupacabra. And today we're going to be talking about how to fix a single channel being all borked up in your audio, like, after the fact. So basically, I was recording some different tutorial audio the other day, and for whatever reason, uh, something happened with this one single recording that I made using OBS. All the other ones were completely fine, but if you notice up here, just for whatever reason, this whole, this Gigundo, like, file, like, one of the audio tracks, the left audio channel, is all blown out, and it exploded or something. The right channel is just fine, and the tutorial that I recorded just after this one had no trouble at all. So sometimes what happens is you get a glitch, when, especially when you're using software recorders, and this type of thing has happened. It's happened to me a couple times before. Uh, it's weird, but it's not something that you... It's something you can pretty easily fix. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to edit. I'm going to go down to convert sample type, and I'm going to convert this whole sample into a mono sample. So I want the sample rate to stay at 48,000 hertz. I think the general consensus is you want it to stay the same rate as the original while you're messing with it. And then I want to convert the channel, not to stereo, but to mono, because it's already stereo, although I could convert it to surround sound if I wanted to. But first I want to convert it to mono, and to do that I want it to use all of the right channel and none of the left channel. You can actually have it use half of both, which can give you a better mix, but in this case I just want one of the channels with a 32-bit depth, which is the maximum, and I'm not gonna really mess around with any of the advanced stuff, that's not something that I know how to do for a situation like this. So I'm gonna convert that. Now it has been converted to a mono sample. I'm gonna go back to the same thing, edit, convert sample, or you could go shift T, and then I'm gonna convert it back into a stereo sample. So I'm gonna have it mixed to left and right 100%, and then there we go. The audio is all fixed, and I can run it through my little uh, preset in order to get it all edited for use on YouTube. And I've done another stereo mix conversion tutorial, but I thought this would be another example of a situation where you use it in order to clean up some of your audio if some weird garbly mess kind of happens to one of the channels, but the other channel sounds just fine. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry the Chupacabra. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and let me know if this helped you out. And if you have any questions, I'm not the biggest sound guru, but I'll give it a shot trying to explain different parts of what we covered in this tutorial. So until next time, I've been Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, like I said, and have a good one.